If you're just tuning in, we are learning about personal development and, the, and challenging ourselves to gain the required knowledge for growth this year. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WeShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WeShow. Or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-8463. So I'm going to come to EC, but let me quickly let um, Nike address the conversation that we had before we went on a break. Question, but then I'll just um, I'll just answer based on what I heard at say. So yes, there are some things that we need to do, or there are some things that are required. But because as a result of many other things, right now, what I want to say concerning that thing about social media is that at some point it sounded like you were talking about me years ago. That's exactly how I felt like I don't want to go on social media, right? I don't want anybody to be in my business. I'm not I'm not putting myself out there. I'm not doing all that. Now, guess what? Be Behind all of that, and I used to also say something, oh, I like to walk behind the camera. I like to make things happen. I don't want to be in front of the camera. Behind all of that, when I started working on myself to get myself, I understood that there was a factor or there were reasons why that, hap that was happening for me. And it was as a result of, you know, conditioning and programming when we were growing up. You do things and people say to you, oh, you talk a lot. You are out there. You're too much. You're an extra. Step it back, dial it back. That was where mine was coming from. And I had to deal with that because it may be as at the time I was growing up, that worked for me or that served me not to be out there because, of course, I know that my parents and caregivers had a good intention when they were saying to me, dial it down with this. But now it no longer serves me. So I had to get to this point where I said to myself, would this continue to serve me? If I don't put my craft out there, if I don't put myself out there, and I know that with what I have, I'm able to help many people, how would people get to know about me, okay? Or how will I serve or fulfill this purpose that I feel I have a commission to? So I looked at it, and I had to do away with that limiting belief, that thought that, be, um, uh, that thought that I don't want to be out there because, and I give myself so many reasons. So, okay, what I'm saying is that there is a reason why people are like that. And that is also the reason why you need to get into personal development to understand yourself, to understand why you're taking some decisions that are limiting you, that do not allow you to be confident, productive, and resilient, that do not allow you to go at life the way you would consciously in your mind want to go at life. So I hope that answers your question. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Hi. All right, thank you. You've actually, um, hi Nike, you've actually touched on something I wanted to ask you about, um, which is on the role of mindset and, uh, and on the role of um, self-esteem. I've seen people who say, oh, I want to do this. I have the skill to do this, but I'm scared because people will laugh at me. People will be upset with me and they would ridicule me in the process. And I've also seen people who have actually gone the whole hog and also, um, um, went through a, a, a course or two thinking, of, oh, let me rephrase, somebody who actually went to LBS, for example, okay, he had everything going for him, but at the end of the day, he still wasn't able to do anything with what he got with his degree in LBS. So what, what is the role of mindset and self-esteem in terms of personal development? Oh, okay. Um, I, I even think what you said is even beyond mindset. Um, like I said before, right, many things have happened that we are not aware of the effect of them. So I laugh when people recall um, past significant emotionally, ex um, ex emotionally, a significant emotional experience and they say, you know what, I've moved on. Oh, that doesn't hold me bound anymore. You know, and they say things like that. And in a short while, you see you, the trained eyes, see how that thing they think they've moved on from is affecting their life in many ways, okay? So now you talk about this person who is getting knowledge, who is mentally developing himself, but emotionally and psychologically, there is a, a deficit sort of 
there's sort of a deficit somewhere. And he hasn't taken time to understand that or to identify that and say, this is that part of me I need to work on. Exactly. Like we know personal development comes in different ways. There's spirituality, there's social, there's mental, there's emotional. These are the things that most times, and I find it interesting that Nigerians just feel it has to be one aspect of ourselves or it has to be one section of our life and we concentrate on that and we let the others go we are meant to function holistically whole every part of us is meant to function mm -hmm. well so now in this situation self-esteem is actually i think is actually a pandemic that is raging our society especially africans right where Things that have been done to us, you know, people talk about their upbringing and you see a lot of abuse. You see the physical abuse, you see the verbal abuse, you see the neglect, you see a lot of abuse have been done to us. And, you know, some people even pride in it and they say, oh, this is who I am. Oh, me, that my father will beat me. Oh, and then they laugh about things like that and do not understand how badly those things are affecting them, how they are not able to be all they want to be. So I was invited somewhere and then I was talking and away. So the conversation was going along this line and the person said, oh, I'm fine. Do you know how much I have in my bank account? Hmm. And I laughed and I said, do you realize it's someone that owns that bank that you're banking, you're putting your money? Because sometimes we achieve a level of success and then we think, oh, everything is fine. Or a part of our life seems to be working well and other parts are not working. And we think that the other part is, is not very important. So self-esteem is is such a big a big big issue that we all need to pay attention to. How would you know that your self-esteem is not at a healthy place that it should be if you have not even started the journey? Hmm. How are you able to know that? How are you able to 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 even know? What, like I once read something that says it's only when you're in the light you can see your shadow. Exactly. When you're in the dark you can't. When a little knowledge or information comes in mm -hmm. and you begin to realize that you don't know a lot. You know the thing we used to say when we were much younger? The more I know, the more I know I need to know a lot or the more I know I don't know anything. That's what happens when you start this journey of sub personal development. Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing process. It's not something you do and then you say, okay, I've done it. Six, I've, done self I've done personal development this year. Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing process and every area of your life needs to come under the person of development for you to understand how much more you can, how better you can be, how you can achieve potential, how you can live to the fullest of your potential. So self-esteem, wow, that's, that's a big issue. That's a big issue. All right. So I saw this post on um, this um, Instagram. I thought to share with you to hear your thoughts. Accomplish, um, accomplishing our goals is just a byproduct of developing our character, right? So in terms of personal development, yeah. like when you want to, when you when your goals are accomplished, it's a byproduct of the character that you have built, right? What would be the most important ingredient in terms of character that you would say is very vital to personal development? Would we call it discipline or what should we call it? I, I need to hear that quote again. Personal development, um so accomplishing your goals. Accomplishing your goals is just a byproduct of developing our character. So it's a byproduct, you know, you, when you have accomplished your goal, it's, it's almost like when I am, uh, I am um, probably a disciplined person, weight loss would just be a byproduct of my discipline in terms of my food. So that's what this person, what this quote was saying. So I'm wondering now, what kind of character would be the most important ingredient in personal development, right? What character are we looking at? Are we looking at just discipline or there's something else that we should be looking should at? Be you know, should you know, be, should there be resilience? Should there be persistence? Should there tenacity, be, you know, you tenacity? What is that I character? I think it would be one thing. <laughs> oh, I really don't think it would be one thing. I think it would be quite a number of things. And then it also depends on what where this person is at and what they want why they're going into personal development yeah. okay so because if you look at it for 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 some people it's that discipline is that dedication to even be to be able to sit still you know how it gets where, where, where we were and we were asked to do some things that seemed like they were forcing us to just be just just do things that we would normally not do and yeah. we were asked to like comply 
and be disciplined and be committed to this process. So I honestly don't think it's one character. I think what 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 that would do is that it showcases to you or whatever that goal is comes to showcase to you what that area of your life that needs that work, what it's asking for, right? Like, you know, we, we, we say that our emotions are there. So they are, our, message, our emotions carry messages to us. Our car, our de- whatever it is that we are is in deficit is coming to say to us, this is that part of you that you need to work on. So depending on wherever it is or whatever it is you're doing, that is what it comes to show you. For some people, maybe it's just the ability to be able to be calm. Hmm. Absolutely. So okay, can, so depending on what you're working. Timmy, you are you are very big on LinkedIn. I wanted to you to just tell us why, because a lot of people see LinkedIn as it's just a difficult platform, you know, and you want to train different people to understand that platform. And I know it's a very powerful uh, place for developing yourself and all of that. But how would you think uh, people should approach, you know, their social media handles and what is LinkedIn? I mean, what's the power behind, you know, people having that business image? Mm. Thank you, Ua. LinkedIn is very, very, very important. I like how Naked just helped us to see that you need to, first of all, identify why you're not doing certain things and go ahead to do them. Because by the time you understand it, you can go ahead to do that. I say this because a lot of people say that, oh, I don't like to be out there. Like I said, the example I gave, which she also testified to being in those shoes a short while ago. But you see, LinkedIn is the most... Um, is the is the um, what do we call it now? The most popular professional social networking app. Apart from that, LinkedIn has a lot of people, a lot of professionals, including multinationals. Um, for lawyers, there are a lot of in-house counsels, professionals from different spaces. They are recruiters on LinkedIn. Their clients are old and prospective clients on LinkedIn. So if you want to, if you're looking for an Instagram for professionals, so to say. Yeah that LinkedIn is the place to be. So I find that, as, as I mentioned earlier, some people just feel that, oh, you know, it's all social media as usual. If you don't like putting out too much of your private things on social media, it's okay. LinkedIn is still the place for you because you don't have to put too much of your private information. It's about your work. It's your about you as a professional. Now, daily, daily, I don't have the statistics, but from testimonials that come in on my feed almost every day, you find that people get a new job on platform on LinkedIn. Almost every day I see someone who says, oh, a recruiter reached out to me. Oh, this happened. And I like to share this story when I get the opportunity, especially for people who, were, who are in the shoes I was in some years ago. So in 20, I think this was 2015, I got a call. I think I shared it with Uwa oh, some did. time ago. So I got a call minute. from mm. someone who had seen my work on not on social media this time. He had just seen some of the things I had done. So it was very interesting. He was working with a multinational, was consulting for them, and they needed somebody to do a particular project. So they wanted me to be the face of the project. So this person had recommended me and said, oh, Temi can do this, Temi can do that. So he gave them, so they told him to reach out to me to find my LinkedIn name. And at that time, I just joined LinkedIn. <laughs> there was hardly anything apart from education on my LinkedIn profile. There's really nothing. So this guy called me and it was a funny conversation. He said, oh, Tammy told me about this. I think you're really good for this. And I think I'd like to recommend you. Could you send me your LinkedIn name, please? So I tried to you know, convince him to use other social media. I was like, why LinkedIn? Ah, why not just try Facebook? You know, <laughs> at that time I was active on Facebook, not so much on Instagram, but quite active on Instagram. Anyways. But I, I thought Facebook, you know, it would be a good place. It was like, well, LinkedIn is the professional social media and they would like to see evidence of my work. So I reluctantly just shared this thing with him. I just gave him my LinkedIn name, sent it to him. Then I added, I'll never forget that. I added my Facebook name and my other social media handle, just in case. Now, you know, on LinkedIn, if you're familiar with this platform, when somebody checks your profile, you, they'll send you a notification. Yes. Sometimes they'll say an anonymous person. Mm-hmm. Sent you uh, um, checked your profile. So I got a notification that someone checked my profile anonymously. I didn't need anybody to tell me that it was that uh, it was the person in the organization that he had referred me to. But then I still got confirmation. So this young man calls me back later on. And I'm glad he actually called me because it was very good counsel exactly. for me. Yeah. So he told me oh, about what went down. I think that's about the next day. So he told me, oh, I sent the name, the LinkedIn name to them. 
and i will never forget these words they said we didn't see evidence of your work on linkedin they didn't see evidence of my work on linkedin and i was like well you know i do this like off plan you know my work he knows my work but they needed to see evidence this way international um this was an international organization with different people from different places they wanted an international platform they wanted a professional space and they looked at it and <laughs> my profile was almost empty but you know the painful thing it was such a short time i wish i could have revamped very quickly put up posts put up <laughs> well, articles but that's that, why you are, that you are there possible. because we don't have so much time um, Tammy, so because we, go, we don't have so much time, that's why you're there. Tammy is going to be training people. So for people that do not follow her, go on her social media. She's going to be helping people because this year is all about personal development. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you really want to grow career-wise, you have to find a way to also make sure that you're putting out the right image. So Nikki, exactly. I want to come to you for the final conversation. If you had, you know, one thing, because I know you also help people, you know, to train them to, be, to get to that uh, place of self knowledge right if you had one thing to say to everyone listening today in terms of personal development everything that we've talked about you know and how they should start from wherever they are especially people that are messed up what would be that counsel that you're going to give and we have like two comments you know what before before you answer let me quickly take um the comment easy take your comment as well mm -hmm. um are you with Lara or Rolake? I'm with Rolake. Okay. The reality is no personal development, no actual growth. The fast-paced world seems to make it hard to follow through. I have taken up books to read and most times cannot meet goals set for completion. Quickly take Rolake then. Okay. Then, Rolake um, says, never understood self-knowledge or thought about it. I have started to learn new things at different times and my attention to it drops after a week or two. Thank you, Ways. Wow. Okay, so um, um, Nika, you heard that conversation. Attention, you know, ability to stay and all of that. So just help mm -hmm. us to sum it up, you know. Why it's important that you must take this thing seriously and how you are also going to help people, you know. Follow it through. Yeah, follow through. Okay, so I think the reason why you should take it seriously is what you guys just read out there. Um, if you don't want to keep going in circles, if you don't want to keep producing mediocre results, if you don't want to remain in the same place year in, year out, like if you don't want it to be that the calendar dates are changing, but there is nothing happening for you or you're not getting anything done out of life, then you know you need to seek help, right? And in answering your other question, um, reading the books alone isn't enough. There is least two books can do. The books can sit with you and help you understand you, right? So I say, reach out. Reach out to people. Reach out to me. Um, come on Instagram. Send me a message and then let's start this journey where you are able to move from this place where nothing is important, where, 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 where you're not achieving anything, rather, or where you're feeling overwhelmed. So a place where you can take actions, not only take actions, you move from feeling overwhelmed to taking actions, you move from being ignorant about who you are to getting better results, or you move from being confused to being able to, to, to produce outstanding results. If that's what you want, then you need to do everything possible. I also hear people who sometimes say, I want personal development, but they're not willing to pay so, because I'm like, boy, you paid for your clothes. <laughs> so how important is personal development to you if you're not willing to pay to invest in yourself to become a better person? Mm. So it's just so funny. So reach out, reach out to me. You have my Instagram handle. And then, you know, it, it's something that everybody needs to get. See, we would, if you keep giving yourself excuses and you keep coming up with these things, nothing is going to move. The needle is never going to shift for you. Absolutely. I think mm. we can wrap it up. I know Temi likes that part of they, they, they should pay. <laughs> She's always saying, where's the money? No, oh, it's true. Oh, it's true. okay. Marriage is very important. And I think I, I like how she told you, sh everyone should reach out for her. For this. That's very important. Absolutely. And also I have a training coming up on LinkedIn also. Yeah, if you would absolutely. like to learn more about that, like Ua said, please reach out to me as well. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Nike. You've been an amazing, an amazing, amazing guest. Thank you so much. So Waze was birthed from the need to impact. Uh, and this year we are starting our own CSR. Uh, focus on curbing unemployment. Now, if you are a company um, that you can give us um, internship slots, please partner with us on this journey. And if you are a job seeker, you know, and you're willing to start off an internship with a company, please follow us and keep watching ways, you know, because we are going to be 
um, bringing out different companies. We've gotten already some companies that have lined up to give us internship spaces, right? This year, we are very, we are very deliberate about personal growth and personal development mm. for all our young people that are watching because that is who we are called to. All right, so, um, and this event is going to be an all year round event. So look out for our social media handles and we'll post everything there. It's been a very insightful conversation. Please keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Wayshow Africa One on Twitter, at Wayshow Africa on IG, at Wayshow on Facebook as we continue to hear what you are saying now in case you missed today's quote. <laughs> Isi, can you remember our quote? <laughs> I can dig it out. <laughs> Personal development is a major time saver. The better you become, the less time it takes for you to achieve your goals. That's from mm -hmm. Brian Tracy. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.